Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk about battery maintenance and keeping your batteries charged on all your equipment and this goes for your cars too. I'm going to show you how we take care of that on our property and uh, I, I, I'd like your feedback, see what you guys think, but it has worked really well for us. This is a John Deere 4500. Uh, compact and I've already disconnected the batteries what I plant it's pretty dirty in there I'm gonna clean that up but uh, the way I've been charging this is using these claws and it's kind of a nuisance so what I'm planning to do is change over and get this harness hooked up like I have on most of my batteries just makes for a lot simpler setup and you can see the two-way plug makes for an easy uh, hookup so we're gonna get started on this get that battery cleaned up I'll have to disconnect the uh, terminals and I'll show you how we can hook this thing up Always remove your battery negative first. I always like to apply a little grease, make sure it's a dielectric. We'll leave that off. Got to get the uh, positive off. Okay, positive's off. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Clean this up a little bit.
old WD-40. This thing cleaned up. A little bit of grease. That's the real thin coating. Okay. Put the battery back on. Now we're gonna slip our harness right here. Okay, I'm going to uh, get this thing on here. I like putting a washer in there. Actually. Washer over. Put the washer over the eyelet so the eyelet doesn't get twisted. Now the nut is turning on the washer and won't uh, screw up the eyelet. <laughs> okay, so let's get the battery negative in place. Washer's on. Put the nut on. So the harness is installed. I'm still gonna have to tie it up. Uh, probably tie it up to the frame. I'll show you how I do that. I looked for a couple spots. I was gonna snake it up through here, but I don't wanna mess around 
with this mechanism. So I've decided to bring it over here and that's gonna require me to drill a small hole. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna drill a hole. What I'm doing is drilling a hole so I can make a little standoff. I'm gonna show you how I do that. edges It's gonna go right in there. That'll give it a little extra protection. Okay, so then this is gonna fit right up in here. And I want to wrap this tie wrap around that tape. And it's snug. There. Now we got a standoff. We have extra protection with tape against the two sides, but this standoff is actually keeping it centered. I like that. Again, these are, it's a nice way to do a standoff. Get the box at the other end. Come in. and snug there now you've got a standoff off the metal uh, separated by these two nylon pieces this is convolute so I'm just going to go direct to the convolute Okay, so that helps minimize the vibration down to here. And that's coming straight off. I'm okay with that. So we have the 
part. I redid this a little bit. But you can see it's, there's a standoff. I have abrasion tape wrapped around it and it's tucked in there. It does need to get out of the way because a plastic part is gonna have to fit in there. So we'll find out if that works. Got a tie off right here, standoff. I tied it to the convolute here to keep the vibration down. You can see I've got a uh, standoff right here, another double loop. And uh, okay, I'm gonna use this battery protector and Battery negative is not so important when getting the okay. Tucking this under there for now. Air pickup goes back in there. See the front pieces on, side pieces in place. And look at that. Standoffs in place. Got friction, or not friction. It's not for, don't use friction tape. This is abrasion tape. It's definitely different. I think I like that. So now, you come in, throw your top up, pop the cover, a little protector there. Pretty slick. You can leave the top up or you can drop it down. Yeah, okay. So I can see it. You can see the red light's on, so it's charging, but that green light will come on shortly. And that's it. Now I got quick access for the tractor. Plus, I just got my battery cleaned up. Just wanted to show you. Green light's coming out already. Look at here. If you want to shut the cover, just let it come gently down and nothing's binding on it. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. There we go. Okay, John Deere's done. Okay, so here's the Kubota setup. <laughs> See, I have a jumper harness. You can see how I set that, uh, connected it. Used a washer. I actually had to use a standoff because I was getting a little bit of clearance issues. On the ground, same thing. There's your washer, and I got a stand up, right? Stand off right here. Same thing. Use the two, two tie strap method. And I got a stand off right here. Oops, where's my finger? Right there. So these, the the cables, the electrical cords are not touching metal. It's just plastic to plastic. Um, I did make a little slit, you can see, in the rubber boot because I wanted it to fit. 
and it slides right down like that. And this boot, I don't remember if I had to modify that. I guess I did. Yeah, I had to cut out a chunk. I like it though. Good setup. So there it is. Over here we have the utility vehicle. years to figure this out and I finally just the other day I found a better way place to snake it out this is the transom boat well and now rather than crawling in the boat I can access it when I'm standing outside taking care of the motor after I've come out or when I'm getting ready to take off it's an easy disconnect it's always right there this is our 2007 Dodge you can see the hook up here it was simple. The bolt's right there and nut. Get yourself a little washer like I showed you previously. Here's the negative. And then I got it. The uh, piece broke. And I, I still wanted to use it. So what I did was I tie strapped it to here. So when I'm driving down the road, everything's hooked up and snugged because this will be disconnected. This will be attached. So anyways, you can see the green light over there. And I snake it so I can gently just drop the hood in place, but not totally latched. Dodge Challenger. Okay, you can see I have a, my other video, I talked more about this, but this is a four amp battery tender because this thing's a, what I call an energy hog. And in some situations, battery charger, the three quarter amp was just taking too long to come back up. So I switched it. Okay, so here is the battery positive. Here's the jumper. You can see I've got it already hooked up. Right there. And there's the fuse for the jumper. It's a simple hookup. This only took about five minutes. Here's the battery positive. I originally had it here, but there's a device on the end of this, so I decided to go directly to the battery. Um, I'm sure either is fine. Always put that back in place. Some of you may want to just stuff this thing down in here. If you're traveling and you stuff in your trunk, I don't know. I like it out. It's just easy access. You can hardly see it mixes right in with the trunk and then it snakes out here and for those of you who are worried about deforming the look at this you're not gonna hurt that. I've been doing this for three years <clears throat> you know there's no deformation in here perfectly fine To summarize what we've done here, uh, basically, again, we like to keep our batteries fully charged. It does two things for us. Always have a charged battery when you go to use it, and it maximizes the longevity of a battery. Battery on this John Deere is roughly eight years old, going strong. Kubota battery is the original. It's 14 years old. 
the mule is four years old is we've had it 11 years and I estimate the battery was probably one to two years old when I bought it. So you could say that's 11 to 12 years old. The battery in the truck was just replaced a couple years ago and it's on battery number two. The first battery lasted over 12 years. Dodge Challenger is over three years old. I hope you found this informative. You see all our crap. Um, you guys have any questions or thoughts, feedback, I'd like to hear it. And uh, as always, we don't tell you what to do, we just tell you how we do it. I'm sure there's a better way to do it for some of you. And uh, the idea of these videos is to generate some thought and come up with uh, a way that works best for you. So we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon. Take care.